Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. One of our fans here has sent me a very interesting video. A video I want us to have a look here for it's going to form the basis of our analysis and discussion right now. That's a hustler from College in Rift Valley who woke up very early in the morning and voted for William Samoy Ruto. And you are seeing clearly that after only two months, he is already cursing William Samoy Ruto. A confirmation that things are not going on as he expected or anticipated. And what that hustler is going through is what a good majority of hustlers in Rift Valley are going through. If you are a maize farmer who is a hustler, you are most likely going through what that man is going through. Let's dig deep into the story. Yes. William Ruto's government is coming out openly as a government that does not care about the poor man. Mamamboga boda boda, mutu wachini, maskini. Ruto's government only cares about the rich. I think that's a fact now and it's not debatable. This William Ruto's government is a perfect example of a dynastic kind of a government. In fact, the previous regimes were not dynastic. William Ruto's government cares more about the rich than the poor. And I'm saying that because only in two months, everything William Ruto has done is something just benefiting the rich in the society. If you look at the composition of William Ruto's government is only composed of millionaires and billionaires. And William Ruto has not stopped there. He has gone to an extreme length of even adding more positions in government to accommodate more millionaires and billionaires. That's a fact, ladies and gentlemen. And the poor man the so-called Mamamboga Boda Boda are now charged with the responsibility of actually making sure they sustain and maintain the new offices created. Yes, the new offices created. That only means that the poor man Mamamboga Boda Boda are most likely going to be taxed more to sustain the new offices created for the dynasty. So, why is it now that as, as this poor man caters for the dynasties, the dynasties, in this case, the president and his team, are not bothered or concerned about the welfare of the common man, the Mamaboga? The first reason, William Ruto knows for a fact that Mamamboga is politically naive, politically inexperienced. Una, unaweza mtesa vile unataka. But just some few months or some few weeks to the elections, you bring him some tokens, handouts, and that Mamamboga, Boda Boda, will forget all the frustrations he or she underwent in your hands. So William Ruto does not care or bother about these so-called hustlers because he knows these so-called hustlers is politically naive. Yes, they don't know the attributes of a good leader. You just confuse them with handouts. And they forget all their frustrations and sufferings they have underwent in your hands. And I'm saying that because these people from Kalenjin Rift Valley 
since 2013 they have been in Kenya mm -hmm. they knew on how William Ruto has been ruling because he has been part of the government even before the elections William Ruto made it very clear that maize farmers should look for an alternative maybe avocado farming so already signs were very clear that Ruto could not protect maize farmers these farmers went ahead voted for him this is a bed they they spread for themselves let them lie on that bed secondly if you look at what is currently happening in Kenya, opposition leaders who are expected to check the government are pledging to work with the government for development. That we must work with the government for development. The moment opposition starts working with the government, the government most definitely will not perform. Even that development, the government is, is, is expected to bring to the people, the government will relax and will not bring that development. If you look at leaders from these maize growing areas, just last week, some issued a press statement where they attacked the government over the plans, over the government's plans to import GMO maize. We are meant to believe that immediately after that press conference, William Ruto's close handlers made calls to them and threatened them. These members of parliament have so far gone silent. So you are also seeing that the leaders that were elected in those maize growing areas are also cowards. They are just serving interest of some powerful individuals in government at the expense of the people who elected them. So the people are suffering because they elected political amateurs, leaders who are not brave enough to stand firm and defend the common interest of the so-called Mamamboga and Boda Boda. So the people must also learn some hard lessons that you should vote for brave leaders. Leaders who will not, upon being elected, will not now start policing the government or policing government leaders, but a leader who will stand firm and defend the common good of the people. And this is why I still maintain that Rift Valley residents made a very big blunder by voting out Alfred Keter, those who are very brave leaders who could be defending these farmers as I talk right now. But now because they voted them out, nobody is there to defend them. Nobody is there to defend them. As I conclude, those sentiments by that young man, those are the kind of sentiments a good number of residents, especially maize farmers from Rift Valley, those ones without connections, those are exactly the things they are going through currently in Rift Valley. There is nobody to defend them. Opposition is pledging to work with the government. You are now just seeing the kind of a, a situation Kenyans are slowly sliding into. The opposition is not there to defend them. The leaders they elected are not defending them. They are cowards. That only means that now this so-called hustler, this Mamamboga Boda Boda, will now be pushed to a corner that maybe he can decide to rebel now. Yes, he or she can decide to rebel because hunger knows no, no bounds. And it will be very unfortunate for people themselves to rebel against the government. It will be very unfortunate for the government that the people themselves 
on their own volition have decided to rebel against the government. That can lead to William Ruto's government being thrown out. In fact, William Ruto should be praying very hard for politicians to rebel against him, but not the people. If the people on their own volition, without being incited by politicians, comes out to rebel against a government, that government cannot stand. William Ruto, William Ruto's government should tread very carefully. A rebellion coming from the people is more lethal than a rebellion coming from politicians. And from the way things are looking, William Ruto's government might, for the very first time, eh, face that kind of a rebellion. A rebellion emanating directly from the people. Let me conclude it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to support our channel, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to send your support to the number. Let's meet in our next analysis.